why new IPO offerings will likely dwindle to near zero. I'm Bob Stokes with Elliott Wave International. Financial activity is usually a buzz during times of financial optimism, such as the issuance of initial public offerings, IPOs. An IPO means that a company is transitioning from private to public ownership. The process involves selling shares to the public for the first time. As recently as 2021, a December 2nd NASDAQ.com headline said, a record year for IPOs. The attached article mentioned that close to a thousand companies had gone public last year, handily surpassing the record set in the 1990s. As you know, the S&P 500 index was still climbing throughout 2021. However, history shows that when the ebullient psychology which drives stock prices higher wanes, so does the IPO market. Indeed, at the onset of the worst part of the 2007-2009 bear market, our May 2008 Elliott Wave financial forecast said, IPOs are being canceled at a record rate as concerns about a recession sap demand for new shares. Of course, the Great Recession of about 15 years ago turned out to be the worst economic downturn since the Great Depression of the early 1930s. Speaking of which, you may be interested in seeing a chart from Brad Street's Weekly when the Business Digest was doing a 1932 year in review. Data is through mid-1932. A classic Elliott Wave theorist republished the chart and said, Wall Street was in Matic mode in 1929, giving the public what it wanted more stock. By late 1931, new issues had reached nearly zero. Now back to present day, the manic psychology of 2021 drove the S&P 500 index to a record high in the first few trading days of 2022. As stock prices tumbled thereafter, our June Elliott Way financial forecast noted the IPO market is fizzling. According to Renaissance Capital, of eight IPOs that began trading in May, just one logged a gain, Bright Green Corporation, a cannabis company. From its offering price of $8, the shares jumped 625% to $58 on its second day of trading, which was May 18th. After that, however, it fell more than 85% and is now trading at $7.89 as we go to press, below its initial offering. As of this writing intraday on June 22nd, Bright Green Corporation was trading at $2.77. Is the stock market destined to repeat the 2007-2009 bear market? Or even worse, the historic financial downturn from 1929 to 1933? Get insights now from our flagship investor package, the Financial Forecast Service, by following the link below this video. 